Good morning to you all. My name is Amechi A.K., one of the many broadcasters in TBC, one of the many voices talking about TBC around the globe. I have to sincerely welcome you to this broadcast this morning. I am very happy and glad that you all are hell and healthy. Thank God for that. I have to start this in this way. If there is anything I am grateful for as a person, I am grateful to God because He created me. And I am grateful that He also gave me the ability to speak. I'm also grateful that he gave me the senses of having my own opinion. I'm also thankful to God that we have the internet today. And because of this internet, I can come up. We can come up. Anyone can, in fact, everyone can come up and say his or her own opinion. And the person gets clearly heard and well understood, especially for those who want to listen or care enough to understand what that person is saying. I have my own opinion. You have your own opinion. And I appreciate it when people allow me, others allow me to hear my opinion. And they will also appreciate me too if I care enough to listen to what they have to say. So, it is all free, and this is nothing but a gift from God. So, what I'm talking about now, what I'm going to talk about is the present condition in the community of TBC. There have been so much different opinions, annoyance, anger, some are in support, others are against, with different ideologies, different way of reasoning. Admin is this, admin is that, admin is a scam, and things of that nature. All this we've been hearing. And as a result, some members are even living. Why? Because admin is making it mandatory that all those having up to a full TBC coin should be up and doing the community by paying their admin fee. And many of us in the community, that didn't go well. They didn't go down well with many people. And they are just busy saying all sort of things. They are just busy discrediting the same thing that they once upheld. And so in situations like this, I am moved to ask, where are we? Or where is our real self in terms, or in terms of difficulty? Where are we, the so-called drivers, when we get to a rough terrain, where are we, the sellers, when the ocean become windy? Where are we, the pilots, when up there you start experiencing serious galloping in the air? Most people that have never flown in their life don't know that even up there that there could be anything like galloping whereby the plane could be shaking. Where are we when what we expected to see is taking another form? How many of us care enough to think back and forth and try to get things the way they are? I belong to 
many WhatsApp groups that talks about TBC. And lately, I noticed that it's like there has been a mass exodus. Hey, if you say this one left, that one left, this one left, you know, this left, 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 left. I'm not even saying right. Even if you say right, just once in a while, you just see somebody join, just to hear what is being said, and all the person goes. But on that area, I'm saying if you belong to any group that one day, one week, one month, months go by, and nobody leaves that platform. I think such a platform is not in existence. People will always leave. It's just like life, people can always die. People will always die. And more, they also always come about being given birth to. So what am I trying to say? The issue and the manner with which most of the leaders in TBC are taking this admin fee of a thing. I don't see it sounding too reasonable. I must say. That is my opinion anyway. I have to see it. And I stand to be corrected if I'm wrong. Many of us are taking it so personal, so deep. Instead of correcting the impression, they are busy disrupting things in the community, thinking that that is the best way to go. We are only busy shifting the goalpost. We are only busy trying to make things hard for us. Because we are talking about paying the admin fee. So, and some people are taking it too hard. Some people are getting it wrong, rather. Let me put it that way. Admin has come up to say that this is going to scare away the scammers. The scammers have done so wrong in the community. The scammers has almost crumbled TBC. And uh, all along, it was as if admin is not seeing them. But admin is taking time to do his things. And we are seeing it. So when we come out to justifiably say that admin is wicked, the same poor people is trying to bring it to the community, is also trying to scare them away by paying the admin fee. Admin fee is $25 per month. A whole lot of money. It's not even easy for me to come about. But Give me one thing in life today that is easy to do, and yet we are doing it. Just one single thing in life that is easy, and yet we are all trying just to make it happen. Thank God I can speak my mind, and every other person can say his or her own opinion. I'm not going to force my opinion to you, and neither are you going to force yours. We can always think. We always disagree in order to agree. So when admin is asking us to pay the 25 monthly dollar 25 dollar a month to maintain our wallets and things like that especially when we realize that things are changing many of us are saying when we come on board it was free at the point the 10 dollar was introduced and now 25 dollar per month why is all this admin know much about this thing and if you have followed through in all that has been saying, you will notice that things have been working the way it should. It's just that this monetary aspect of it is putting most of us out. But let us calm down and realize that admin is not being the way people are looking at him to be. Paying the admin fee, I can clearly understand that it's not, it's not easy. Especially for most of us who have multiple accounts, $25 times 10, times 20, times even 30 accounts. It's not going to be easy. And who are those that have such accounts? They are the scammers, the, the, the scammers and discounters. They are the ones that have so many accounts. And, excuse me, <coughs> others too who have accounts, multiple accounts, with good mind. Yes, they wanted to help, even for their families, they created. And they're the one managing those accounts all by themselves, all along. But now, it comes to the issue of paying. $25 per month is not, is not a small money, especially here in Africa. But if we had followed what admin said earlier on, 
about creating accounts for little children. Just pay once and leave it.